On the 21st of November, Katie was taken poorly with severe stomach pains. Um, we thought she had a 24-hour bug, so just put her to bed, as you do. I was still poorly the next day, but my stomach was really hurting. Went to the doctors and then continued going to the doctors. After sort of every day at the doctors, on the Saturday, they took her into hospital. Got discharged on Monday with like a high temperature. Um, and then two weeks later, I got readmitted. Saw lots of different doctors, lots of different di diagnosis. They did a CT scan, which they found that she'd had a burst appendix, which was notably missed. Um, I just wanted the pain to be gone. Um, I'd had enough of suffering, had lots of different diagnoses. I just wanted to know what was wrong. And then they found her too. Um, the appendix had wrapped itself round her right fallopian tube and seriously damaged her fallopian tube and her ovary. The percentage of me conceiving naturally now is qu quite um, low. My mum got in co contact with National Accident Helpline. Um, if mum hadn't I've got in contact, I don't think I would have pushed for it. Um, I'm glad she did because they were really helpful. They led us to a good solicitor and like anything that we needed, the solicitor would just give us the information. After I had spoken to the lady at National Accident Helpline, um, a solicitor contacted us during the week and uh, we had to give her a summary, a chronology of what had happened to Katie. When the claim finally settled, just before it settled, we got a letter of apology from the hospital. Um, that had a great impact because obviously they'd no noticed where they'd gone wrong and hopefully it won't happen to anyone else. Katie was awarded a sum of money for the future. Um, considering that the damage to her ovary and her fallopian tube may warrant her having IVF. National Accident Helpline were very helpful and they were always professional in the way they spoke to us. They were always sympathetic and we definitely recommend them. Our solicitors that were recommended by National Accident Helpline were absolutely fantastic. They supported us all the way down the line on this, um, even to a meeting and a coffee with the solicitor afterwards. Fantastic. <laughs>